Now we're going to do a bit of a handstand program. So this program is probably more for our competitive gymnasts. Definitely available to recreational gymnasts as well. Just make sure that everything you're doing you are safe to do and that you've got the prerequisites to do so. So we're going to start with some shaping before we get into our handstands um, and start off with our base shape for our handstand, which when you take it down low is our front support shape. So to get into our nice front support shape, we're going to start in an angry cat. Making sure that your hands are under your shoulders like this and we're going to really curl our chest up so we've got that nice round back. Now to get into our front support shape we just want to straighten our legs out behind us without losing that round back shape, squeezing our bottom. Now from my shoulders down to my toes this should be my handstand shape. So I want to really round my chest off, I want to squeeze my belly in, squeeze my bottom down and nice straight legs when I do it. So we can hold these for maybe 30 seconds and do that a few times in a row. Some more shaping to advance towards our handstand shape. We can do our laying down handstand shape on the floor. So you want to be squeezing similar muscles around your body, except we're going to be laying down flat on the floor. So start with your hands here, where they would be in a handstand. Squeeze your chest up, belly tight, bottom tight. Squeeze it really tight with straight legs, feet together. And you want to hold this as strong as you can. Now, for an advanced exercise, if you are really on top of your handstand shape, you can get a parent if there's someone around. Make sure it's someone who's stronger than you. If your parent grabs your ankles and you're squeezing really, really tight, they can grab your ankles and your thighs. If they lift you, you should lift up into a handstand shape on top of your hands. But make sure it's someone strong enough to do so. And if you're not squeezing tight enough, you'll go saggy and you'll come down. You won't be able to get into handstand shape. To make this a bit trickier, we're going to use some items you can find around the house. So you may have some foam rollers at home. Otherwise, anything that's a little small height, you can potentially use some cushions um, or something similar. So you can lay them down and you can do your handstand shape on top of the rollers to make it trickier. Make sure that you've mastered your laying down one before you do this one. So we want to lay, same thing, lay with our thighs on the roller and our chest on the roller and you want to mimic the same shape. Oh, mine might be a little bit close. See how you can do your one. Now that we've done some laying down handstand shapes, we're going to practice how we get into our handstand shape. So firstly, to start a handstand, we want to practice our lunge. All right, so I'm going to use a small height, my chair again. You can use a couch or a bed or a chair or anything like that. You want to start a long distance away from your chair, right? If I lunge into my chair like this, it's going to be too small. So we want to start all the way back here. And we want to make sure we're starting our handstand really tall because that's the way we want our handstand to be. Arms nice and tall making sure you remember how your coach teaches you to start your handstand because every coach is going to teach it a little bit different. Stretching really tall, point your foot out in front of you. We're going to stretch long and we want a straight line from the top of my hand to my ankle. So we stretch really tall, I'm going to take my big leaning step, keeping my ribs in, straight body line, and I'm going to tip towards the chair, I'm a bit far away, and land. So now I know that was probably a bit too far away. I'm going to start a bit closer. You're going to start here, nice and tall, nice long body line, and towards the chair. Now the aim of this is not to get your leg up really high, because if we do this, this isn't like a handstand. We want to be here, nice and long, ribs in, looking between your hands, straight back leg, and then you go to your landing shape. Yet again, remember which shape your coach teaches you for your landing shape. Now to practice how long our lunge is, we just need two markers. So I'm going to use a stick and a broom. You can use anything lying around the house. And what you want to do is you want to lay them out your body length apart from each other with your arms up. So I'm going to lay mine here and I'm going to test it. So put your feet on the first one and stretch your arms out. And it's just a bit too far. I'm going to move it forwards a bit. And that is a good distance away. So the way this works is this is how long your lunge should be for your handstand. So uh, 
I'm going to stretch up nice and tall. We're going to do a big step, ribs in, like we practiced with our chair. And when you reach for your handstand, you want them on the line or just in front of the line. Practice a few of those so you can make sure the length of your lunge is a good distance. To practice some more shaping in our handstands, we're going to do some handstand work using our height. So you can do a tuck handstand, a pike handstand, or an owl handstand, depending on your ability levels. We're going to put our knees for tuck handstand on the height, hands on the floor, making sure you're in a nice body line. To increase that to a pike handstand, straighten your legs out, making sure your bottom is above your hands, and you've got your chest in, your knees are nice and tight, just like on our laying one. And to make that even harder, lift your leg up in the air for an owl handstand, and you can swap. That last one can get a bit tricky, but if you hold these shapes for 30 seconds, do that about five times, and you can do 10 leg swaps in your L handstand. Next, to keep working on our shape, we can find a wall and we can do our Spider-Man belly to the wall handstands to work on those shapes. 